A lot of people have trouble with word problems, especially if they are just starting out working on these types of questions or when there are several steps to complete. This video will help by giving you some key words to look for as well as some general advice about when to do which operation. The first thing we have to do to work out a mathematical word problem is figure out what is being asked. We can usually find this by looking at the last few sentences of the question. In this example, we are asked to find out how much money was spent yesterday, and I found this question in the very last sentence. It is important to notice what we are being asked to find. Here we are asked to find only the amount of money that was spent, so all those numbers about time are pointless in this question. It is also important to slow down and read the question carefully enough that we see that the number 20 is written out as the word 20, so we have to include that in finding our total amount of money spent yesterday. And since we are being asked to find the total, we need to add together our numbers. Here is a list of words that commonly mean to do a certain operation. This list is by no means perfect, but it is very handy to have around. That's why I will provide a downloadable version on my blog at the address below in the description of this video. You can save it and print it from there. If a question has us looking for a total or to figure up all of something together, we will need to add. If the question mentions finding the sum, that also means to add. But what will be most important to remember is that you can only add together similar units of measurement. For example, we can only add minutes and minutes. We cannot add together minutes and dollars as there is no way to do that. So pay attention to what the numbers represent. They'll usually tell you if they represent minutes, dollars, days, cars, or whatever the question is talking about. Any time that you need to find the difference between two numbers, like if the amount of something changed and you knew the starting and the ending amounts, you can subtract to find out how much was changed. If you need to find out how much is left over after something is done, like finding the change you are owed at the store, you take the original amount and subtract how much needs to be changed. The rule about similar measurements is also true of subtracting since trying to figure out $23 minus 16 days will get you nowhere. Multiplication is used when we have to find the product of two numbers. We can multiply to scale up something that is going on. For example, if you know that one tank of gas can get you 400 miles, then you can figure out how far 76 tanks will get you by multiplying one tank's worth, 400, times how many tanks you have, 76. You could find the same answer by adding 400 to 400 76 times, because adding the same number over and over is the same thing as multiplying. You know to divide when you have to split something up or if a question says to find the quotient of two numbers but you also need to divide when asked to see how many times one thing fits into another. For example, if you have a tank of water which holds 25,000 gallons of water, how many times could you fill a five gallon bucket from this large tank? You could imagine it as if you are pouring out, or subtracting, five gallons at a time, and how many times could you do that? So subtracting the same number over and over is the same thing as dividing. This video has been mostly instruction and has included some hints which is very beneficial, but you need to practice with some problems on your own to be able to better work out word problems. I have uploaded some practice questions to my blog, so click the address in the description of this video to find the printable handouts as well as some practice problems. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments and I will upload answers to the questions soon. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching!